Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to be doing the long-awaited video on what I learned uh, from my dog being pregnant, which is Scarlett the Yorkshire. She is right here. Um, she had a cut for the summer, so she has short hair. Um, but anyway, I have her down here because she's just playing around and all that. Um, I had previously recorded this video, but I didn't like how it turned out, so I decided to refilm it and um, just start all over. Okay, so going back in time, um, I got Scarlett two years ago now. Her birthday was on the 16th of June, and um, the year after in around March? No. I'll say July. Yeah, it was July, August. I got Akil's Alexander. Um, they're both um, AKC Yorkies or Yorkshire Terriers. And um, we were full on aware that they could have puppies. Um, Scarlett is a great and wonderful dog, and so was Akil's. Um, so, me and my husband um, discussed things and decided that. Um, well, actually, I decided, and he said, you know, do what you want. But, you know, he also played a part in saying basically yes or no. I decided that it was okay for her to have um, one litter of puppies. Um, so back in December of 2015 and all the way through January, February, uh, we took them both to the vet to get tested and um, have their pedigree and genetics tested. The dogs are not showing dogs or none of the above. Um, but I wanted to have a puppy from her um, and from him because they are great dogs. So um, the vet obviously did lab work. Um, they had some behavioral, you know, testing done on them and all that. Um, Everything checked out clear with their health and as far as their behavior, it was good. Um, maybe if I had trained them more, they said that Scarlett could have possibly been like a therapy dog and all that. Um, but obviously because of children and work and everything, you know, it's not something that was within our reach. Um, Akil's is very playful and friendly and he's just a really, really good dog and Scarlett is very loving. Um, she always likes to be by your side. She's more of like the cuddling type. Um, so when they got tested, everything cleared out. They didn't have, you know, worms. They didn't have fleas. They didn't have any major concerns that they could have. They both are not at risk um, right now for the luxating patella. For those of you who don't know, Yorkies are prone to kneecap problems on their back legs. Um, they tend to twist. Uh, luxating and patella and they do require surgery but neither one seemed to show any signs of having that in the future so um the vet said it's good everything's fine he gave us a list kind of to follow on you know the proper care in case she did get pregnant um what could be done so in april she went into heat she was in heat for the full 21 days. Seven days swelling, a little bit of discharge. Then she went into another seven days of bleeding and getting ready to me and all that good stuff. And then after those two weeks, another seven days concluded of her um, vulva. Um, the swelling went down a little. Obviously the bleeding was gone by this time, everything. Um, but she did have a little bit of discharge and the swelling did not go completely down um right away i knew she was pregnant i mean we had a male dog a female dog and she was in and she is in good health and so is he so it wasn't like kind of a question could she be pregnant you know whatever so for the next few days um or actual weeks i should say um we kept everything kind of calm and everything, and then um, I took her to the vet about three weeks, and that's when I posted the first video um, that she was pregnant. She was 
and he for exactly 21 days and she was pregnant exactly for the 63 days um, at about the fifth week she stopped kind of eating she was nauseous she was vomiting and then somewhere along the line uh, about her sixth seventh week it started to diminish and she started to gain her appetite again the last obviously um, seven eight weeks um, from the 63 days she was always wanting to be with me she was very clingy her stomach was really really bloated there was a lot of puppy movements in her belly uh, we did have an ultrasound and we had x-rays done on her to confirm that there were four puppies and me for some odd reason I could just touch and feel her and and I knew there was gonna be four puppies I don't know how but I just knew um, so Throughout her pregnancy, she was transitioned to puppy food um, the last three weeks of her pregnancy so she could have enough nutrients, vitamins, and calcium. And every day in her food, a small little teaspoon of um, just plain Greek yogurt was given to her, just a tiny bit, and that just helps the puppies and it helps her as well with the bones and the calcium that she needs. Um, when she was in, we went out to the mall and um, we left her home and she was in a, her crate with newspapers lined at the bottom and when we came back um, something told me to get out of the car and I came running in and I looked at her and she had like the newspapers everything that she was like her bedding she was nesting everything was dug up shredded she was you know kind of back and forth so I let her out you know and that's when I knew um, she was in labor. I called the vet to let him know just in case a c-section or anything you know assistance wise was needed but no thankfully it didn't um, but going back to that um, that night was a very long night um, we have we have the living room and then off to the side we have kind of like a man air man cave and then with an area where we just kind of like pile everything up together and that used to be the dog's old room um, and now it is again um, and that's where she was at. Uh, next to it, we had a big um, squared uh, wooden box that my husband had made. And we had newspapers, cardboard, blankets, everything, towels. And then we also had everything in another plastic bin um, for the birthing. And if you all want to see a video of that, let me know. And I'll gladly do that of all the supplies we had um, available for her. So... Um, we had her there kind of back and forth between the crate and the whelping box. She didn't want to be in the whelping box, so we figured let's just put her in the crate, which was actually the best thing because when she did have the puppies, um, she had them there and then I was able to take her out, clean her, and put her in the whelping box for more comfort and I was able to take out the tray from the crate because of the smell and everything that you know had it just happened but anyways um we were up all night i was at least and my husband was next to me keeping me company through it just in case you know one of us fell asleep we could hear what was going on um and it was 15 hours and in the morning um i just my husband said you need to wake up something is going on and I said what he goes to wake up and I was like oh my gosh I was like you know falling asleep I got up rushed over and sure enough her water had broken it was everywhere and um I knew it was just a matter of minutes probably about I want to say 20 minutes after that her water breaking um first puppy came out each puppy in between was about 20 minutes the last puppy was only 23 minutes and um by the time she had her third puppy um i told my husband i need to go get her some more food and uh, puppy food for some reason that week my mind had just spaced out and i didn't get it well so i rushed over to PetSmart, and then i came back and then that's when i moved her from the crate to the whelping box and i was taking out puppy one two three and i was like Oh my gosh there should be a fourth puppy here and sure enough there was little miss daisy um at the back hidden um she had long hair at the time so she was hitting in between and um 
that was how it happened. Um, with each puppy that was born, the placenta, everything was out and of course, gross as it sounds, she ate it and everything was fine thankfully after every dog, which I'm so grateful because I was afraid that it could get stuck in her and you know, an infection, something could happen. Um, but thankfully everything worked out good and um, the puppies are now three weeks old they will be four weeks on sunday and um at five weeks i'm going to be showing them to a couple of people that are interested obviously they won't get to hold them or pet them um, but they'll get to kind of come see how their behavior is and see the parents um Achilles did get a summer cut uh, i didn't want to cut scarlet's hair um, but unfortunately it was just getting too icky with everything that she had going on um, because after the I gave him birth for about two two and a half weeks up until last week she was still having some secretions and healing up from you know giving birth and so I had to just cut it down I couldn't do it anymore and also it kills and it's been really really hot here for those of you who don't know I live in Texas so it's like 105 degrees and where I live it gets really really humid uh, so, it was just smelly and, you know, not a good combo. And um, I just decided I needed to do that and the puppies are doing great and Scarlet is too, Kiehl's is wonderful. And um, I just wanted to make this video and kind of share my experience of, you know, being with my dog Scarlet the Yorkshire as she had her puppies. Um, everything that I'm sharing with you, I always do recommend is for you to go to your vet. Always, always ask them, um, if you don't have the money, if you don't have the means, please don't let your puppies or your dogs breathe. Don't let them have puppies. They're a lot, a lot of work. The thing is that for me, I have to take care of my dogs really well. Um, I, Scarlett is still with her special diet. Um, she went to the vet last week as well to make sure everything was fine and that she's healing properly and she is. The puppies had their tail dogs. They were declawed as well. Um, everything has been down to the T with my dogs. It, it does cost money. I'm not going to lie. Um, but both of my dogs do have pet insurance. The puppies though, since they're so small, they don't. Uh, something real easy. Um, easy because I'm the type of person that I love my house to smell and be clean and fresh and just very airy and you know feel like a home what it's supposed to be and I change their newspapers two three times a day if I have to um their food supply after learning that mistake that I had when she gave birth um to us keep the pet food supplied and their bowls get washed twice a day. Um, their grooming is still the same, even with them having short hair. And I bred Scarlett to have good quality dogs. And the only way that happens is not only with the parents, with the vet care, but also us as owners to have good dogs. And um, I'm not an expert, I'm not a professional, but what I am learning, you know, I just got to keep myself in check. Um, they do have a schedule. They do have everything timed out and it helps me because it's summer. My kids are here and I've had family, friends visit and it's just been, you know, very chaotic. But um, I'm just very OCD. Without Scarlett, I wouldn't have this channel and I wouldn't have you know the experience that I do now so I'm very very grateful and um so yeah like I said just always always please consult your vet always make sure that everything is good and checked out and um I'll probably be posting um a couple more videos I owe like two three videos already that I haven't done I haven't recorded I just haven't had time to edit them so I'm going to put this one up and the next Monday I'll get back into the normal schedule of doing things. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, share this with you and let you all know it is a responsibility. 
as much as it is a blessing and it's fun but it does require time patience and work and yeah um that's all i have to say for now any questions or anything let me know and like i said if y'all want to see a video of me including you know what i had you know at access you know in case you needed assistance with the puppies i'll be more than glad to share that video with you as well as any other concerns you may have i mean this is what i want my channel to be about good and bad um like i told one of my viewers i welcome everything you know every comment and there's just a way to carry a conversation and do things properly and right and i have no problem with criticism good or bad it's good for me to grow as a person and for everybody to be able to express things and what I do for my dog is the best that I can. She is family to me and she's a companion. I couldn't be more grateful to her and she's, she's been a good mommy. So yeah. So anyways, if y'all have any more questions or anything, let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer them. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.